Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I am reviewing the Hellhound 1.9 inch crawler dollar tires. I'm putting that, I'm not sure what there's a dollar sign on it. Don't like the writing on it at all, but anyway. Now this is clearly a copy of the Duratrax Deep Woods, AKA Louise CR Champ, AKA Fast Tracks Rocco. Now I just so happen to have a set of Fast Track Rocco tires here and the tread pattern, it's not similar. It is absolutely identical. Now, as to who may actually makes the Duratrax Rocco or Deep Woods or Louise or whatever you want to call them, who knows, but they are three identical tires. I have the 2.2 Duratrax Deep Woods and the 2.2 Louise CR Champs and they are the same tire. There is no doubt about that at all. Now, if I bring these up close to the camera, you can see how we well, can see that the tread pattern is identical. The only slight difference is, is that the tread blocks through the center are a little bit less well defined, as in it looks like they've taken a mold of this tire and made that tire, which is probably exactly what they've done. But they just seem not really obvious, but it's they're just not quite as well defined through the center. Now, rubber wise, the Fast Tracks Rocco here is much, much softer. There's obviously a, a uh, insert in there, but it's really soft rubber um, and a pretty good tire. They did fairly well in that tire test I did comparison I did recently. They weren't up near the top, but they also weren't terrible either. And they're a very popular tire, mainly because they're quite cheap. Uh, but it's, it's really, really soft, really soft rubber. Now, the Hellhound, and I will link this, I bought those off AliExpress. They only cost me, it's like 23 Australian dollars, which is about $15 US. So they're absolutely cheap as chips. And that was for all four. Now this rubber is, I'm not gonna say it's hard. It's, it's firm. It's quite a stiff rubber. The carcass through the center at least is quite thick. Yeah, the sidewalls are fairly thick too. Now, if I do the scrunch test to see if they are sticky, which I'm not a massive fan of doing this because tires do lose stickiness, but if I do that, there's nothing. There's no stickiness there, even when they're new. Now, I haven't run these. I've mounted three of them. And the reason I haven't mounted the fourth is I wanted to do that to show you it doesn't do anything. Now, what I've done, which is a little bit different to normal, kind of, is that I'm using these really soft Endura inserts, which I've yet to find a real use for, for any tyres that I've got, but just because they're so soft, and I just I haven't just found a rig that they really work on, or tyres for that matter. Now, because this is quite a stiff tyre, I'm putting the soft insert in it, just to see if I can offset that a bit. So, shove that in there. And this is a rear. Now I'm running the Endura style, well Endura style, I don't know what they are, the AliExpress, just the normal old aluminium beadlocks, and centre that ring there, roughly right, now my plan is, is that, I'm going to mount that first, get that in there, my plan is is I will run both these tyres and the Fast Tracks Rocco's on the same rig, on the same course, just so we can get a bit of an idea of exactly how good this copy is. Now I don't have I don't have high hopes for it. And I I don't want to be captain negative about it, but the rubber is just really stiff and I've tested a lot of tires and I know or generally know what works and what what doesn't work. Oops. And so, yeah, I'm not getting too enthusiastic about these tyres at all. But I want to give them a fair go. I, I definitely was disappointed when I first took them out of the packet and realised that they weren't soft. Um, 
Yeah, I found it quite disappointing, especially the reviews on AliExpress, which I've decided that I will never pay attention to again. There's people on there that say they're really soft, and they're just not. So, annoying, but this is the risk you take when you buy off AliExpress, and you're also buying $22 tyres. I'm just going to nip these up. I have put holes. There's two, there's a, yeah, two four millimeter holes in, actually it's not four millimeter, it might be, uh, size holes. It might be two millimeter, I can't remember now. Whatever I normally put in my tires. Uh, not really gonna be able to tell there, I don't think. These tires here have the blue, the blue Injura inserts, and as you can see, I just put the green ones in there. White wise, they look to be the same. And about width wise, but I will double check. Just out of interest sake, so width wise, we've got approximately 46 millimeters. And height wise, the ad says they're 118. And we have 118. I'll check these just out of interest sake, but it probably doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah, they're about 118 and width wise we're coming in at approximately 46 millimeters. So they're pretty much an identical tyre aside from the rubber compound. I don't know what else I can say about them. I, I, I'm I not expecting these to, to go very well at all. And as I said, I was really disappointed when I got them out of the the um, the packet. Um, and I don't like this. I don't like the white tyre lettering. If it just said something decent like, you know, Duratrax Deep Woods or Louis CR Champ would be okay. But Hellhound and then having the Punisher thing there. Like, I kind of get what they're doing. They're trying to be cool. But it's just, in my opinion... That's not cool. So, not in love with that. So, I'll stop talking. I am going to run. I'm not sure what rig just yet because I'm actually going to perform the test tomorrow because right now it is night time here. And it's been raining flat out for, I don't know, five, six days. And it's meant to rain for another five or six days. But in the morning, it is, well, this afternoon it didn't rain. And then this, in the morning, it's not meant to rain. So, I'm hoping that we get a bit of sun, dries out the crawly yard a little bit. So, uh, so I'm not sure what rig that I will put them on. I don't know. I might, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. I'll put, uh, I'll put them on something and run them together and do a test and see whether or not I have done my money by paying 23 Australian dollars for these knockoff tires. I'm gonna stop talking for real and go to a running video right now.
Right, well, just got back from the running video for these fake Traxxas deep wood tyres. Now, I've, I've had this idea for quite a while, I've had it for well, a few months, about running a series on this YouTube channel called Shit You Not. Now, I'm pretty sure I can say shit on YouTube. Pretty sure. Haven't researched it. I'm not sure. I don't think it's that offensive. <laughs> but the reason I have had the thoughts on having this segment called Shit You Not is because, and I'm not saying it's specific to these tyres. In fact, I haven't seen any YouTube reviews of these tyres at all. But I am so, so disappointed in these tyres and I knew at the start when I went through them, the rubber's hard. And I think I even said I didn't have high hopes for them. But these tyres, the Hellhound Crawler Dollar tyres, are complete and utter shit. <laughs> they are pathetic. Even though I said that I didn't have high hopes for them, I still, deep down, thought they might be okay. Even though the rubber is stiff, I thought... These Fast Tracks Rocco's, aka Duratex Deep Woods, they're not a bad tyre. They're not terrible. They're not awesome. They're not a pr what I would class as a premium tyre, but they're pretty good. And, and certainly for the price, they are. Uh, for bang for buck, they're actually really good. But these are complete shit. So 
This is going to lead into tests that I do from now on that I'm going to call shit you not, where I will not shit you. In other words, if I test products and they are shit, I'm going to say they're shit. Because I'm beyond disappointment, even though I paid 20 odd dollars for these, 23 bucks or something, they're not even worth that. These, these, I'm either going to give these away or sell them for five bucks or put them in a maybe I've been thinking about this I, I do have a, a couple of um, or at least one obstacle down in the crawler yard that is made up of tires and I've got a few sets of tires now that are complete shit and I don't even really want to give them away to anyone because it just it's it would be terrible of me to do that because they're so bad so they might find their way into the crawl yard in some sort of obstacle i'm not sure what that obstacle would look like exactly uh but i'm not i'm, I'm not sure i'm not sure there's any point even talking about these anymore you've seen the video complete rubbish shit crap whatever you want junk and I'm glad that I compared them to the Fast Tracks Rocco's because at least now you can get a bit of an idea of the, the difference between them. And it makes me think, and this is, I'm probably going to be Captain Obvious here, but clearly I think that the rubber compound is the first thing that tyre manufacturers need to get right. You get that right and you're going to have a half decent tyre, I think. You get the compound wrong like this and it doesn't matter what tread pattern you've got because this is not a bad tread pattern we've proved that with these ones but the rubbers just way 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 too stiff so if i was going to manufacture a, a crawler tire i would make sure i get the rubber compound right first and if i get the rubber compound right most other things are going to fall into place afterwards even if the tread pattern's not great i I'm gonna stop talking because I need to <laughs> I need to go and do something fun because this is so disappointing. Uh, anyway, that's a wrap. Shit you not episode one. Shit. Do not buy these tires. Like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. I'm gonna go and find something fun to do to cheer myself up. See you on the next video.